This conference will now be recorded. So today let us go with the next part of our course, the last one, Angular Framework. So what is this Angular is? Angular is a TypeScript based open source front end web application platform. Mainly to go with the front end part to develop front end applications, we make use of Angular. And it is what here? TypeScript based. It is TypeScript based. So what is this TypeScript is? It is a superscript of JavaScript. TypeScript is a superscript of JavaScript. And what is the difference between JavaScript and TypeScript? What we are discussing today, Angular. Angular is what? It's a TypeScript based open source front end web application platform. So to go with the front end for your web applications, we make use of this Angular framework. And what is this TypeScript? It's a superscript of JavaScript. Now, let us understand what is the difference between TypeScript and JavaScript. So when you go with this JavaScript, JavaScript does not support data types directly when you go with the javascript it won't support data types directly whereas whereas typescript supports data types typescript supports data types Let us understand with the example. So when you take uh, JavaScript, how to declare the variables? In the case of JavaScript, already we know, we use a keyword var and the variable name. And based on the value, we are going to decide the data type. So n is number data type. If you take VAR name and if I go with the name in double quotes or single quotes, then name is string data type. Name is what? String data type. If you say VAR flag equal to true, then flag is Boolean data type. Based on the value of the variable, it is going to decide the data type of your variable. That's the reason we say JavaScript does not support data types directly. Whereas coming to TypeScript, coming to TypeScript, here we go with the variable name colon the data type and we can provide the value. So here we can take the variable and provide the data type here. So we are providing the data type. That's the reason here TypeScript supports data types. The name colon string and the value can be in double quotes or single quotes. Flag colon boolean. So providing value is optional. So since it is supporting the data types, that's the reason the name has come TypeScript. This is the main difference between JavaScript and TypeScript. Okay. One more difference is JavaScript is object environment. JavaScript is what object environment scripting programming language. The meaning of object environment means it comes with the predefined objects. It comes with what predefined objects. As a programmer, we cannot create our own classes, our own objects. So we have to use only predefined objects. Whereas TypeScript is object oriented TypeScript is what object oriented means we can create user defined classes user defined classes and objects so 
so like java so since we are having background of javascript and java understanding typescript code will be simple to us directly when we are writing the code in angular we can directly understand the code of typescript as already we are having background of javascript and java now, the next point over here is angular is developed by google who has developed angular google it is a complete rewrite it is a complete rewrite from the same team from the same team that built angular js so angular js is also developed by google only but this angular is co totally complete rewrite from the same team that built angular js so angular the code we write using typescript in angular js the code what we write is using javascript that's the reason the name has come angular js now there is no support from google team related to angular js you can say like outdated it is so to understand angular you don't require any background of angular js no background is required so remember angular and angular js are different both are different What is the main use of going with Angular? What is the main use of Angular is it is used to design. It is used to design single page applications. It is used for what to design the single page applications. This is the main use of going with Angular and using what using routing. By using routing concept, we can develop single page applications. Now, what is this single page application? Let me show you the example. Like, if you take the official website of Angular, the official web page is angular.ioclli. In this one, so when you go with a web page, a web page is divided into some components. In case of Angular, we a web page is divided in the form of components, and components are the basic building blocks of angular so in this example this is one component this is one component this is one component like this some part of area of your web page we call them as components now see here now if i go to this component if i click here getting started and what is angular only some part of page will get reloaded see here once again set up only this part only this part is getting reloaded observe here try it getting started see adding navigation managing data so only some part of page will get reloaded instead of loading the complete web page so nowadays any web application you take most of them are single page applications so in the olden days the complete page is used to reload but because of this feature called a single page applications only part of the page will get reloaded based on the request so this type of applications only we call single page applications so to develop this single page applications only we make use of angular more and how we can do this using routing so tomorrow i'll be showing you how to develop this single page applications using routing right So today the main objective is we'll be learning how to set up angular on our operating system so the way i do the same way we can work with other operating systems everything will remain same for other operating systems the commands are same now so the main objective is we'll be setting up angular today angular setup so compulsory you need to do on your system also before you join Morris class. The first thing what you require, the first thing what you require is Node.js. You require first Node.js. What is the main use of this Node.js for us is use it to develop and run Angular applications. 
to, de to develop and run Angular applications, we make use of Node.js to download. Download. Open command prompt to download. Go to this URL node.js.org to download. Open this page node.js.org. Let me show this node.js.org. In this page, you can find the download option. It will take you to the respect operating system automatically. So you can find the versions. So whichever the version you want to download, you can download. Suggested to go with 18 version. So once you click on this, it's going to download the file, the executable file, install that. So simple installation, next, next, finish. Then once the installation is completed, once the installation is completed, to verify, to verify whether the installation is successful or not, to verify, node.js, open command prompt, or terminal in the case of windows we say command prompt in the case of linux or mac we say terminal so i'm just going with the command prompt here just we have to use node hyphen v hyphen v means version to get the version and one more command we have to check npm hyphen v npm stands for node package manager when we install node.js automatically this command also will get installed it so npm means stands for node package manager and the main use is use it to install angular cli so to install angular on our operating system we make use of this npm command now let us verify this open command prompt then type the command node hyphen v. In my case, I'm having version 16. Then node sorry, npm hyphen v. So the npm is 8.11. So just to check whether these two commands are working properly or not. Okay, so when we install node, automatically these two commands will work. The next thing what you require is once we install download and install node the next thing what we require is a text editor text editor which can open folders like sublime text visual studio code visual studio code so in our case already we know how to go with visual studio code to download Visual Studio Code. The URL is already have shown how to go with this code.visualstudio.com download. This is the URL you can use to download Visual Studio Code. If you open this page, you can find we, we can download this Visual Studio Code for Windows, Linux, and Mac. So, based on your operating system, click on the operating system. Once the file is downloaded, run that application to install. Simple installation, already we have discussed it when we discuss the HTML topic. Right? Yeah. We can use any text editor which can open folders. So, in our case, already we worked on Visual Studio Code. So, we will be making use of Visual Studio Code. The third one, this is the major important one, Angular CLI. Angular CLI. What is this CLI is? CLI stands for Command Line Interface. CLI stands for what? Command Line Interface. The Angular CLI makes it easy. When we install this Angular CLA, Angular CLA makes it easy to create an application, to create an application that already works. 
so when we install this angular cli it's going to give an application to us which is already working application based on the requirement we have to just go to the code and modify the code so some piece of code is taken care by angular only now how to get this for this you need to follow the url that is https colon slash slash angular dot io slash cli we have to just go to this official page of your angular angular dot io cli in this page you can find how to get angular on our operating system See here installing angular cli so here you can find the document how to install angular cli to install angular cli we have to open the command prompt or terminal and we have to go with this command npm install iphone g at the rate angular cli iphone g stands for global to install globally means if i run this command in any location either c drive or d drive whatever it may be wherever you may run i can work with angular in any folder that's the meaning of globally okay now let us see this part download and install or you can simply say installing installing angular cli for this open command prompt our terminal so i'm going with command prompt just to use the command npm install iphone g at the rate angular cli fng means to install globally install globally so that we can work we can work in any folder work in what any folder so just to type this command at your prompt npm install fng at the rate angular cli once we press enter key it's going to start installing angular cli so it installs angular that's meaning final word installing angular on your system so in order to use this npm command only to install angular we download and install node.js and visual studio code for typing our code right so already i've done this part so i'm not running this command now just press enter key it's going to take care of installing Once the installation is completed, and one more point, to install a specific version of Angular CLI, to install a specific version of Angular CLI, you can use the command npm install iphone g at the rate Angular CLI, and at the rate we have to provide the version here. Like, like example, I'm going with 11.2.2. So here you can provide the version whichever the version of angular you want to install if you are not providing any version if you are not giving any version it's going to install latest version okay. to verify once the installation is completed to verify or to check the version what it has been installed how to do that one is we have to say ng version we have to use what command ng version let me show this ng version in my case i'm having version 14 here i'm having 14 version right so it's giving the banner c angular cli banner now in this ng means angular only so from this angular word they have taken these two characters to make the commands ng means angular only now, now see the next step the basic workflow so once the angular is installed on your system then what we have to do the workflow first we need to create the project we have to create a angular project how to create angular project is by using the command ng new 
and the project name any name x y z ng new project name once the project is created this project will become a folder to us the project will become a folder then open that folder using change directory command cd my first project cd the project name now once we open this folder then we have to use a command to run our application ng serve ng serve then after successful compilation we have to open browser and type this url we have to open browser and type this url so angular application will be in in will be in will be in live server running in port number 4200 okay now let me show this workflow creating an angular project open command prompt our terminal now let me create one folder here md angular so that i can create angular project in angular folder okay now cd angular now we are in angular folder now we are in which folder angular folder now create a new angular project so to create angular project we have to use the command ng new the project name i'm going with the project name angular project i'm going with the project name angular project let me show this now let us work in our folder so what is our folder c drive 2023 java online 8 in this just here you can also type the command cmd here also you can type cmd then directly it is going to open our folder now in our folder let us create a folder angular anywhere it's up to you wherever you want to work it's up to you cd angular now we are in angular folder in this folder let us create one angular project how to create engineer the project name Engineer the project name now press enter key it will ask some questions like would you like to add angular routing yes why just to type by and press enter key then which style sheet format would you like to use so i want to go with css just press enter key that's it it's going to start installing the packages here so it will take some small time to create a project depends on the performance of your system something around five minutes it is going to take five to ten minutes to create the project so let us wait for it until it create the project That. so once the project is created it's going to show the prompt back to us now now let us see how to run the project run angular project to run angular project we are in angular folder right we have to say cd angular project so now we are in angular project folder whatever the project name we have given that will become a folder open that folder now use the command ng serve use the command ng serve then after successful compilation open browser and type the following url http colon slash slash localhost colon 4200 let me show this part now 
it's fine. we are in this place so go with this if i say they are you can see the project has become a folder here now open this folder cd angular project now we are in angular project folder now use the command ng serve now so it start compiling compiling our project see here after compilation is successful it's even saying see angular live development server is listening on localhost 4200 so open browser and type this url so open browser type the url http colon slash slash localhost 4200 so if this image is coming like welcome angular project app is running that means our installation is successful so you have to do this part compulsory before you join tomorrow's class clear up here all of you how to do the angular setup on our operating systems any questions right now let us see the workflow let us see who is taking care of displaying this content on our page who is taking care which file is taking care that let us understand the workflow of angular let us understand now now so for that open angular project folder in visual studio code to open this project folder in visual studio code so open visual studio code close the welcome screen now open the folder so click here file open folder you can see the option open folder then we are working in c drive 2023 java online 8 angular angular project folder so open this folder just you can say trust the authors now so whenever you make a request understand carefully whenever you make a request using this it goes to this angular project folder under that src so whenever you make a request to your angular project it will go to your folder src under that it is going to see the file index.html so whenever a request is made to a angular project it opens index.html file then in index.html file in index.html file by seeing this element app root by seeing the element app root it loads the app component app component app is the root component for your angular so here it is going to open this app component so here if you expand this you can see the file app.component.ts file typescript file the extension given to typescript file is ts see the selector name app root see the selector name here app root so by seeing this element selector app root it's going to load this class app component app component is the root component for your angular projects so here first it goes to index.html file by seeing this element app root it is going to load your app component how it knows it has to load app component the selector name is app root then it's going to load this app component now for this app component the presentation is done by using the file app.component.html who is taking care of doing presentation app.component.html see the file here under app folder app.component.html this is the content this is the content what is getting displayed on our browser so which file is taking care of this this is the file which file the content app.component.html this content is getting displayed let me prove I am going to delete the complete content and simply I will say h3 welcome to angular project and once I save it once I save it see the proof so the proof is here 
okay so the content which is present in app.component.html that content will be presented on our browser right there now see one more point that style url who is taking care of the styling part who is going to take care of styling part app.component.css file so here if you open this app.component.css file there is no code inside complete separation of files just we have to go to the respective file and add the code the integration is taken automatically here now here i want to go with the styling for h3 element we'll say text align center color red text align center color red see once we save it no need to refresh your browser page see automatically we get the result here see welcome to angular project is coming in center align and red color so what are the points here when a request when a request is made to an angular project the server loads index.html file in index.html file using the element app root it loads app component that is app.component.html PS file. App component is the root component. App component is the root component for Angular project. App component is the root component for an Angular project. Right? which is the root component app component very very important intro question this one what is the root component for angular project means app component the presentation of app component is done in app.component.html file the styling of app component is done in app.component.html CSS file. Here, all of you, any questions? Anyone having any questions up to here? The workflow? Now let us go back to our codes. Let us go back here. Now in this app.component.ts file, we are having the class app component and we are having the title variable with the value angular project. Now I want to take the value of this title property. So this title is a property. I want to take the value of this property in my presentation. How to take that value here? Instead of typing, I want to take the value of the variable title. How to take is, we have to use two curly braces and go with the variable name and two curly braces. Then this title value will get replaced with this value, with this value. Now, let me take one more variable e name. I am taking a variable e name with the value Raj. Now I want to take the value of this e name. How to take that value? Here you can say paragraph element hello the value of e name hello the value of e name now i want to do the styling part so go to css file for paragraph element say text align center color blue and the size some 20 pixel once we save it, once we save all the files, see the result automatically. So this is the value of your variable title and this is the value of your e name. And even we are getting the styles also. Right? 
so what is this two curly braces we call it as data binding call it as for data binding so what is the use of data binding reading the taking the value of variables from your component okay use it to use it to access the value of the variables or properties from the component into html file okay. even i'll be sharing the codes to you app dot component dot ts file app dot component dot html file app dot component dot css file even i'll be sharing the codes right got it any questions anyone so initially you may get confused but if you practice angular is the very very easy one okay and to terminate the compilation see it's successful compiler to terminate the compilation means if you want to come back to common prompt we have to press on our keyboard control c control c when you press will come back to prompt here so what is this to terminate the compilation control c to press control c so this is the introduction of angular we have seen the setup required to work with angular and how to create how to install angular cli and how to create an angular project and how to run it and the workflow of angular project in tomorrow's class we'll be going with the new topic make your systems ready before you join tomorrow so in tomorrow's class we'll be going with the next two concepts like angular directives angular forms and angular routing then after that next class the final class where we discuss very very important concept of angular angular http client model very important class don't miss out so angular http client model it's mainly used to invoke a service running on server so in our example java server if there is a service running on java server then if i, I want to invoke that service from angular so it will invoke that service what are the data we get the response from java that data is given to angular and angular will take care of doing the presentation part so that example also i'll be showing to you in next classes okay so next two classes are very important don't miss out thank you all thank you very much